Hey, it's Carol Sue. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm in my office in my craft building. Uh, I want it's cold. It's cold, cold here in Kentucky, y'all. My hands are freezing. Didn't have my heat on in my office, so it's like 50 something degrees in here. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm here today to show y'all how to make t shirts uh, with the Nina brand for white shirts only. And this is a no cut uh, application. You can cut it, but you don't have to. And like I said, it's for white shirts only. So, what I'm going to do is uh, I tried to make this video last Wednesday, a week ago, a little over a week ago. And I ran into all kinds of problems. My printer didn't want to work. Then the stuff wasn't coming off the carrier sheet right. It was just a bad day. So I've had a bad couple weeks uh, here lately. So I'm hoping today would be better. And I can get this out to y'all. Um, so just don't mind me in my jacket and my vest. Uh, like I said, it's cold in here. And I'm already a little freezing. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and print one. And show y'all... Uh, the steps from the beginning to the end. Uh, let me pause you for one minute because I didn't even start my uh, heat press and it takes a while for it to heat up. So let me pause you one second and I'll be right back. Oh, and Rain Rain's in here to help today. All right, I'm back. Um, I had to make sure that my heat press was uh, turned on. Uh, I want to show you the shirts that I'm going to be printing on today. This is, uh, they're both from Walmart. This is a Glidden Heavy Cotton. And I, oops, sorry y'all. I didn't have a small or extra small what I wear, so I'm just going to put on a large and it could be a bed shirt. Uh, but this is 100% heavy cotton. Uh, and then this one is a extra large kids shirt and it is 50-50. 50 50% cotton, 50% uh, polyester. So I'm going to make these two shirts today uh, to show y'all how it works on that. And these shirts are great for, um, like I said, I like my shirts with my queen and stuff. My shirt, my chair's rolling away. And um, it's also good for memorial shirts and stuff like that. Let's put my chair right here because it just keeps rolling all over the office. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Print out. Oh, Bella, Bell, what you doing? Huh, baby? Bella. I'm gonna print out an image. Let me see. Which one did I say I wanted? Oh. So you're gonna go to your uh, screen. You're gonna click on it and you're gonna print. And your print bar is gonna come up. You want high quality. So you're gonna have to put it on presentation paper, mat. Uh, you can either do it fit to uh, frame or not. I do it 8 by 10, 8 by, uh, 8 by 11, I'm sorry. And, whoops, ooh, ooh, don't print yet, don't print yet. Because this is uh, Nina white uh, shirts only, HTP, you have to mirror the image. Because what you're going to do is you're going to print on the top part of the film. Pull this out. And this is a HTP sheet, heat transfer paper. This is the back of it. See the lines? You're going to print on this side. So you mirror your image because you're going to place it down and press on this. And this is super soft, super stretch. Okay, we're going to go down here. We're going to mirror the image. Uh, okay, it's on mirror. I forgot that this printer stays on mirror. The printer in the other room that does my sublimation does not. Uh, because you have to mirror the image for sublimation also. Okay, so I'm going to go down here and go OK. And now I'm going to print. And right here's my printer. And because it knows that it's not presentation paper, it's going to ask me. Uh, printer is suspended because it's mismatched paper. So I'm going to go OK. Print paper located in the paper feed? Yes. See, the printers know that it's not the paper you're supposed to be putting in there or you say you got in there. So uh, while this is printing, I'm, gonna, oops, I'm just going to 
throw y'all everywhere. I'm going to see you another one to, uh, did I do it again? I guess I did. Uh, get this hair all the way. I just washed it, so, and I don't like wearing a big heavy jacket inside, but it is cold in here. My fingers are froze. My trail. And this is a Epson Eco, Ta Eco Tank 4800. Uh, I only use the Epson Eco Tanks now. Uh, this is a new one from last year. I got rid of my little uh, Eco Tank. It first came out. Uh, and then my big Eco Tank is in there. And that's a 16600. Uh, and it's a beast. I think this was like a $200. Where the other one was thirteen fourteen hundred dollars so there's a big difference but that one in there also prints up to like was it 13 by 19 or something like that where well, this only goes up to eight by eleven eight and a half by eleven and let me see i don't know what the other one is going to be i printed some out last week and i said wait a minute i should do this in front of y'all that way y'all know uh it is a sl it going slower because i'm asking for a higher quality that way the image will be crisp. Uh, so let me see. I don't think I have any black and white ones. Um, let me see. I've got the one that Brian May is printing now. Uh, let me see. Do I want my chair again? Let me print the one of... Hmm. Let me go ahead and print this in next. This is Brian Mays and uh, Roger Taylor. We've had him Lambert walking in the front. Uh, so I'm going to print this next. So I'm getting my computer ready for that. Uh, I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I posted my video yesterday, I think it yeah, was yesterday, from Monday. Um, I was having a bad day and I'm sorry, but I wanted to get that out because I knew it had been a while since I posted. I didn't get to post my one last Thursday, uh, so I wanted to make sure I got it out. Uh, but yeah, thanks everyone for all the kind comments and stuff. Uh, it's hard when you put yourself out there and you don't know what's going to come back at you. So I just want to thank everyone and I appreciate y'all. And if you're watching this video, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me out. Uh, Okay, here's coming out. I don't know if y'all can see it. Uh, I'm gonna, when this is done, I'm going to move y'all into the craft part of the, the shop. And uh, we'll be, I'll go through, uh, I have a, a pillowcase. And on this pillowcase, I have done different types of applications that you do for t-shirts and other stuff. And uh, I'll go through some of those and let y'all know. Um, what they are, when I done them, and stuff like that. So as you see, it's coming out now. Let me get one ready. Okay. So I'll have this ready for the next one. And I'll go ahead and uh, got my monster. And I'm gonna give a shout out to my cousin-law uh, for making me my little koozies for my monsters because I drink the little monsters, the little 11 ounce ones and my hands freeze all the time and so i usually just wrap them with a paper towel and either tape them or rubber band them so now i got little jacuzzis or little koozies um for them so i'm gonna give her a shout out uh in my next video when i have all of her stuff together that way y'all can see them and I'll, I'll link her facebook page that way y'all could check her out and if you want i got a, a beanie and the little jacuzzis koozies I don't know why I'm calling jacuzzis. Koozies, little sleeves, little warmer, hand warmers. She also makes them for um, uh, tumblers. That's what she originally made. But I was like, hey, I got monsters. I drink monsters and I can't stand my hands being cold. And so she made, I gave her the measurements and she made it for me. So here we are, we're almost done. Oh, my hands are froze. It's in the 40s out there. It was like 80s Saturday, and then it dropped down into the 20s. You know how Kentucky is. We don't know whether we're going to be hot or cold. And it's raining. Yep, there it is. 
Oh, did I not pay attention? Well, see, we all make mistakes. I cut, I cut Brian May's head off. Oh my goodness, that's a good one. Let me see, let's get off of this then and get back on Brian and see what I did. What I did is I didn't, I fit it to, to screen, to frame. Yep, and right there is his head cut off. So I'm gonna not fit it to frame to get his head and you're gonna have, you're gonna have uh, extra at the top and the bottom, which is fine. Um, let's go ahead and put that. Hi, Rain Rain. And here's my Rain Rain. What's it doing, baby girl? Can't jump up on my printer, baby. Okay, did I not send it? Yeah, I did. Okay, let's get it. Wait, wait, wait. What, baby girl? I got too much stuff up there. Oh. See my little Rain Rain? She's being bad right now. Oh, my goodness. She don't like being held anywhere. Okay, it's at, I'm going to do this again. It is kind of a pain in the butt, but what, baby girl? You want a treat? You want a treat for being out here with Mama? Huh? What, baby girl? He's so pretty. Say yes. No, you ain't going to play with my printer. She loves getting into stuff. There you go. Can y'all see my little ring ring? I can't see. Yep, we can see a little bit of her. I guess she's not little no more. Now, don't you go tapping at. I put my hands in my pockets. What is it, Wayne Wayne? What is it? You said you're going to do it in a minute when I smack it. So, I hope everybody's doing good. That's a beautiful tree. I forgot where it's at, but the wind blows up on, it's on this tall, tall mountain hill, and the wind blows it, and that's why it's like that. Now they got, this is from the 70s. Now they got ropes around it, and they're protecting it and everything. It's on their, uh, Ron May's song, uh, Another World. I'm just going to throw this away. Uh, also printed some on, like I said, these are for white clothes only. And there are no cut, um, so that's a really big thing for us. Cause I don't like I said I, I haven't got I got a cur uh, cricket, but I haven't opened the box. I've had it for eight or ten months now. I have a U.S. cutter, big vinyl cutter machine, and it doesn't cut like that. Like I can't print something and ask it to cut around it. It's just you can, but it's just too much trouble. It doesn't have like an automatic cut and print thing. So you have to physically let it know, line it out where to cut. So it's a lot harder. So here's my new one, and you're going to see that it's going to have white on top and white on the bottom. So I'm going to um, leave that. I'm not going to cut it, so I'm going to show you how it prints or how it pr presses. Let's see. Also print one on the dark uh, one. I got it ready in there. I had to print twice because I ripped the paper. This, uh, for the dark and the other, other the HTPs, you do not um, mirror the image. Only on the white. This you have to peel off its carrier sheet, which I, I really don't understand that. But you have to peel it off its carrier sheet, put it on the shirt, and tape it. So this is a lot harder to use, but I use it for all my queen shirts. All my Freddie Mercury, all my queens, if they're not white, then they have this. And I mean, it works great. You can put any image you want. Take a picture of anything you want, uh, and then print it on your shirt. Like I said, use a lot of those for memorial shirts, uh, for funerals and stuff like that, and to celebrate someone's life, or birthday shirt, or graduations. Uh, but now the, the, the graduation ones that we've been doing for last year have been on polyester and you've been supplement, supplementing them. And it's because you could get more graphic with our details and designs and more pictures and more, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of more stuff. Uh, I guess I need to make one of those for y'all. 
Uh, probably when it gets a little bit warmer. Oh, and I got your hair in my mouth. How about your hair in my mouth? When I got all my my vest is full of her hair. I'm like covered in Wayne Wayne hair. And it's almost done. I hope y'all stand warm. I have some friends that lives out on the west coast that's like Northern California and Oregon and they're getting snow right now. And they've been posting their videos and I'm like, no, stop doing that. It's supposed to get back up in the 60s and 70s here. I don't want that. Oh. I said the next one's going to be Roger and Brian. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. I'm seeing the tree. You can see the details of this. The tree, the bark, the dirt around it, the grass, everything. I am going to have to trim it. I didn't want to trim it because I don't know why there's a dot there. My printer spit it out a dot. So while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and make another one. And while that's making, I'm going to go ahead and move y'all into the craft room part. Uh, and then, let me get see. Let's get Roger and Brian back up. And like I said before, do not sell these. They're not, you do not own them. These are copyrighted uh, pictures. I, I will not sell them. They're just for my personal use only. You have to remember that. Okay, while that's making, okay, next, this. Okay, while that's making, I'm gonna take y'all into the craft room part and get y'all set up in there. Okay, I'm back. Uh, got you set up in the craft room part. It's 59 in here now, so it's getting a little bit warmer. So first thing I'm gonna do, my heat press is ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the press these for four seconds to get the moisture out. Uh, so I'm gonna do that now. Hey, Wayne Wayne. I'm gonna gotta work here. And this, like I said, it's just to get the moisture out of the shirt because you don't want any moisture in your shirt uh, as you're pressing it. I'm not going to lock it down. I'm just going to... Hey, Wayne Wayne. Go ahead and do this one, too. Get it out of the way. Bell, bell, down off the screen door, baby. What's your sister doing? Bell, bell. Bella, come on. Come on, baby. Come on, Bella. Come on, Bell, bell. Don't quit being bad. Okay, now I got the um, moisture out of the shirts. Let me go grab. I'm trying to watch my shirts because I don't want my cats. This is where they love jumping up on my center aisle here. And uh, it's my workstation. And they are bad about jumping up on it with muddy feet from outside. So go. let me grab the uh, one I just printed of Brian May and Roger Taylor. And here's something don't do and I know better doing. It was almost finished and I pulled it out of my printer which made the ink bleed. So this will be one that goes on my... I guess I could trim it. Yeah, I'm going to trim it because it's going to go on my bed shirt, so it don't matter. So we're going to trim this down. Oof. I don't want it to be jacked up. Like my scissors, I had to get these because of my trigger thumb. Uh, like holding scissors like this is right there on 
my uh, trigger thumb and where I have my arthritis built up. So that hurts tremendously. So I got these. The little safety latches broke because I dropped them. But Bell Bell. Uh, yeah, I love those. I don't know what brand they are. Oh, Fiskers. What you doing? All right, jump on over. I'm going to have to lose this vest because this is too thick. And I'm having trouble moving stuff around. Come on, Bell Bell. Come here, baby. You know how to get that. I don't think I'm going to lose my hoodie because it's a little too cold for that. They both fighting to be on top of my printer there. Oh, Lord Jesus. Okay. So, like I said, with the uh, HTP white only shirts, you are uh, just going to flip it over and uh, tape it to the shirt. Because you do mirror the image. Which one I say? Oh, okay. Brian's going to go in here by himself. Like I said, I usually, um, Bebel, what are you doing? Okay, let me get my armpits done. 13, 13. Gotta make sure it's even. Okay, we're doing the Brian May one. So what I'm going to do is It don't matter which way you uh, crease it to mark the center, and that way you know. We got three fingers down, and where's my board? Oh, I got a clear board here. So, oh. Lord Jesus, Carol Sue. Okay, let's see. Where are we at? Wait, no, let's go nine. So that would be nine. Uh, my husband's going to give me another camera. That way I could put it above. Put it above. That way y'all can see from above also as I'm doing this. And you can see below. So I'm going to tape it. Now that I got it on there even. I'm just using some heat tape. It must be heat tape. It cannot be any other tape. <sighs> and I pre-rolled these before I um, uh, put them in the press earlier. Okay, so let's... Now these are a... Automatic hot peel, so as soon as I get done peeling it, it's going to go on there for $3.75. I think for 25 seconds. Let me look at my thing. So I'm going to see if I could turn y'all around a little bit. I'm not going to move y'all too much because. There. I don't want y'all to lose me over here. I keep all my uh, instructions here because you're not going to remember unless you do it every day, and which I don't. And for heat transfer paper, this is the Nina brand. 375 for 30 seconds for medium to heavy press and it is a hot peel so as soon as it comes up off his press I have to peel it and I will come show y'all um, what it looks like. Okay, here we go. And I put it on there for 30 seconds. Hopefully they don't pop up too quick because some rain rain will jump like a crazy cat. Okay. What, baby girl? What do I hear with me and Ma? Aw. Got Belle Belle in the chair there and got rain rain right there. Okay, we're almost there. Thirty. It's okay, rain rain. It's okay. And I'm gonna hot fill it. And you do a steady, even pull. Oh, we're now space. Oh. 
Okay. I'll show you what it looks like. Now I'm going to put it back in there for 10 seconds and that is to cure it. And make it softer and shinier. And when you do that, I have my Teflon sheet on top here. But when you do that, they want you to put the paper carrier, the paper one, over it. And you do that for 10 seconds. Like I said, that will cure it. I'm not going to lock it down because little rain rain is jumpy. Okay. Hey, baby. And it doesn't get anything on the carrier stick. And there you go. A no cut print. And it is soft. Don't you see how soft and beautiful this is? So you can't see where the outline is. Let's see? Very soft. So that's my first shirt. Okay, let's see. I so said my second was going to be this one. This is my bed shirt. I like big baggy shirts when I'm in bed. Okay, we're going to go to 13 again. This is only to make sure that I have it on. Um, even. And we're going to go up and down with this one. Always make sure we measure. Okay, what are we under? We are at seven, seven. Did I let roll this one? No. I let roll that one, but not let roll this one. Oh. This is the lint roller from Timu, and it is strong. And you want to get the lint ro roller and roll it. Tricks of this. I'll put it on right now. Um, and seven a while ago, not three or eight. So we got fourteen here. That lint roller is so strong it just moved my whole t-shirt. Okay, now we're gonna get tape on it. Like I said, any image you see that you want or any pictures, family pictures, uh, any design, you could just print it onto this paper and uh, yeah it's, they're beautiful and I'm gonna go press it for the 30 seconds if I do this this keeps it helps it from moving I fold it up like a taco Timu I don't want you Quit texting me you know it's Timu nobody else does it Timu will bother you to death Okay, let's see. Let's get this tape down. Okay. I got mine set on uh, heavy tension. And while it's going. Okay. Like I said, when I uh, do it, it's going to be a hot press. I'm just gonna have to move y'all. A little bit too long. Sorry, I had to move y'all. 
it is a hot peel. Hopefully, I've never let it stay on too long before. So, and this works better. Don't let it slip. On a cotton shirt, but it could be. You can make mice pads. You can make hoodies. Oh shoot! Don't touch that hot plate. Like I said earlier, you just gotta cure it for 10 seconds. We need to move stuff out of the way. And it's at 375. Let me get my piece of paper. And make sure you cover because you don't want that getting on your Teflon sheet. For 10 seconds. Wayne. I'm going to let this go this time. And this, like I said, cures it. And it's hot right now. Great. Let me turn this off because I don't trust the little rain rain. And I'm going to take y'all back over to the table. Okay. We're back at my island now. Here's the bed shirt. Really nice. Really, really soft. So I've got Roger and Brian there. This was the one I did the other day of Brian May. And I don't know what I did. I guess I was coming off too fast. And I pulled some of the things, but it's really, really soft. Got to make sure you stretch it. I always forget to stretch the white ones. I don't know why. The colored ones, I'll, I'll stretch them as soon as they come off the thing. Okay. So that is the Nilka Nina Jet Pro Soft Search Soft Stretch for white shirts only. I'm going to show y'all uh, what it does when you put it to a gray shirt. It does not work. I mean, technically it would work, and I mean it's real soft. But you can see, it's for whites only. And I did have a black one. Where's that? It's right here. Yep. When I first got it, I'm like, well, why can't I use it on um, dark shirts? But here it is on black. So you cannot use it on black. The gray technically can work if you want it to work. Uh, but just remember, when you do, because it is the gray and the, the texture of the gray, see all the lines and stuff in it? You will see that in your people's faces. Like, look at poor old uh, Freddy here. He's got it across his face. Well, I'll do. So, yeah. Wouldn't recommend it on that color unless you're just making like a, a rainbow or something. But any images of faces and stuff, no, I would not use it on a gray. So, that is my practice shirt now. Yeah, so that's my video for today. And if you like it or if you have any questions, please ask down below and I will answer your questions, uh, anything you need, want to know. So thanks everybody. All right. Bye.